Good. Now, someone just mentioned me that they've seen your name on the pillar over there. Is that correct? I served on the Phoenix City Council from 1972 to 94. And the building right to the west of us is named after me. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the building like right to the west of us? It's uh, one of the city halls. The city hall. Um, tell me, what, what was it like for you to... Uh, uh, be on the city city uh, hall, uh, city council. What was it like for you? Well, city council was one of the city policy for the operation of the city. Yes. Certainly, elected by the vote of the people. Yes. Uh, certainly, it's a great opportunity to try to be sure that the city resources are available to all citizens of the city. The city resources that would be available to all citizens of the city. Um, what would you say in the situation like this that we're uh, that we're that we're in and we're fighting for? What would you say for us today? I would say that certainly, as long as you're in a peaceful uh, frame of mind, that certainly you're within your right to bring your concerns to the public. And certainly, I feel that there's a lot of things that do need uh, taken care of that's not being taken care of. You know, employment, uh, uh, homeless people, uh, all of these kinds of things. Certainly, we need to allocate more resources to meet their needs also. Oh, and I agree with you, uh, Councilman. I fully agree with you. We'll take any questions. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments. Yes. Um, sir, how do you feel about the Occupy movement? How do you feel about the Occupy movement? From what I can read about it, it's certainly an appropriate movement. All right. Thank you very much. This is Cyber 99. Have any questions? Cyber 99? They're on the screen. Cyber 99 right uh, talking to you on uh, live stream here. Would you, do you have any questions for Councilman here? Yes, this is the Calvin C. Good with us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Calvin C. Good. Uh, sir, you got a virtual smile and handshake uh, from, let's see, uh, what is next? Speaker on live stream. What does he think about the power being turned off? The power to the facility was shut down uh, by the whoever they may be. I'm not what sure we're going to call that, but the higher ups, the man, uh, turned off our power the other night. Uh, what, what would you have to say about that? What reason did he give? What, what reason did he give? But how long was it off? Correct. How long was it off? And did, does anyone have any answer for that? Let's get on that. Uh, it was off. Still, uh, um, it was turned off five off minutes batteries. before the police arrived, and and had a little action to kind of passively try and move things around and get us to move our tents. And yes. They brought people in and told them they had to cut the trees over our heads. So then they told us we had to move. And they brought people in to wash the chalk off, so Sheriff Joe could walk by without seeing what we had written, thereby erasing our freedom of speech right off the sidewalk. It was pretty trippy. And then as soon as he left, the power went back on, but only in one area. Right. It's been on since then in that one area. I think. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying that on the TV or uh, No, sir. Or okay. But I do believe that folks ought to have the opportunity to raise issues and concerns. It's certainly a part of our democratic system. It is certainly a part of our democratic system. Another, uh, another live streamer here, sir. Uh, what do you think about the no sleep law? You're not allowed to sleep here. The public camping law. Next to even like Calvin C. Good building. I don't know what the city ordinance is in regards to sleeping here. Yes. Uh, city uh, ordinance. Let's get on that. You know, we got the city ordinance. I don't have it on here. Do we have the camping? Yeah. I don't have the paper on me, but according to it, if you're not um, mentioning that you're just caught sleeping out here, someone grab that. they'll be taken in. We're getting the ordinance right now. Yeah, I think you ought to abide by the city ordinance. We must abide by it, but we will not uh, budge, will we, folks? We're going to go 24/7, are we not? Yeah. Because yep. right. something's got to give here. Uh, what, what, uh, what would be one, one of your guys' focus on why you're here? Give me one example. Anyone? Give me an example of why you're here. I'm very concerned about the um, mass incarceration that's going on in our country right now, and I wanted to ask if you could speak about that had a doubling of incarceration rate in the 90s to the thousands. It doesn't seem to me like people have gotten doubly bad in that time. So I'm curious what you have to say about that. 
Well, certainly I lived. I was uh, lived in Arizona since uh, 1927. I lived in Arizona when I was 10 months old. And I've lived in Gila Bend, Nebraska, Buckeye, and around. And as an American citizen, I believe that all people, citizens, ought to have all of the rights and privileges that any other people should have in this country. Including the right I have to been vote. Denied, I have been denied in African America some of those. And I fought against them all the time I was in the city council. And I urge citizens all over this city ought to have free, uh, an opportunity to participate in the city resources. Absolutely. What are um, what are some of the issues you see facing Phoenix today compared to whenever you were in the council in the 70s? Well, there are some of the same things. In fact, I think it's even getting them worse now than it was back then. Certainly the immigration effort has created a lot of concern. Absolutely. And I have a lot of concerns about that in terms of God created this earth, God created this city. Yes. And we ought to be entitled to all of the benefits. Yes, here, here. God created this earth, this city, and we are all entitled to it. That's a very good word. Another question here, sir. What can you tell us about uh, Cesar Chavez? Well, certainly I knew him. Yes. And this is Cesar Chavez's park. This is. Right next to the Calvin C. Good job. Yes. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I can't believe this. We both represent an effort to do make things better for citizens. Yes, sir. Would you like some water? We appreciate you coming down here today, sir. We really do appreciate you coming down here. You know that there's, if you look at the statistics lately right now, about 49% uh, of the homes in Phoenix are underwater in terms of their valuation. And also when you look at the home, the uh, jobless rate, that in the city of Phoenix, uh, for at uh, least over the last year, the city of Phoenix uh, jobless rate has either been at or above the national average. Um, do you have any comments about that? I served 13 years on the homeless shelter. Right. Tax, you know it. The center started in that operation in order to care for some of the homeless for that big for the city of Phoenix. Unemployment, I think, is intolerable. And certainly uh, the Republican Party is not helping us be able to do more in the area of providing jobs for all people. Yes. You know, a lot of people are here because of reasons like that and even more. And that's where I think a lot of the anger, if you will, is coming from. What do you have to say to the folks that are that are here and the other people that are not here that are, are feeling this right now? I think if you remember the civil rights of the 60s, oh, yes. we as African Americans had to fight for our rights. And I certainly think that you all continue to fight for your rights too. As human beings, God's creation. So, Anything that we can make sure this nation is visible. Have you ever heard of the American Equality Bill? Are you are you behind the idea that all Americans of all races, all genders, all ethnicity, all orientation, all religions should have the same equal rights? I've not heard of that, but I have a kind of opinion that the Constitution says that we're in time. Thank you. Does the councilman have an opinion about the recent in, uh, recent investigation into plainclothes police officers inciting riots in New York? Well, I don't <laughs> I don't know the situation in New York. Right. But certainly they ought to be listening to the citizens of New York in terms of what they, how they respond to it. All right, United, United Occupied asked that question, sir. Uh, why is Phil Gordon giving us a hard time? And will that change after the uh, mayoral election coming up? Will that change? Uh, you see who I'm supporting. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, Stanton for mayor of Phoenix. So I'm saying that things could be much worse. Certainly at the state level, it has become worse. All right. Yes, sir, at the state level, of course. Um, let's see. It's the right. 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 opportunities. Yes, I would agree. It's the Democratic and Republican parties who are denying us all opportunities. Um, does the councilman have an opinion about the... Uh, we got that one down. What does he think about the fact that the city of Phoenix keeps most of the parking meter covered, forcing people to pay for public parking? And causing problems with access for disabled people. Access for disabled people. Uh, absolutely. It makes it a lot harder to get here. I was of the opinion that we did have meters for 
They've covered them all up around the whole block. So we had to park way down the block. Yeah. On Jefferson, actually, there are. That's right. There are five open on Jefferson. That's that's how I got here. Okay. So let's see. That's it for now. You said you were involved with the civil rights movement in the 60s. Do you see any um, similarities between our movement as well as the women's back as well as the civil rights movement? Well, I see some of the things you're doing, so the march, the uh, sit-ins, and all those kind of things in order to obtain, as an American citizen, I said, you should be entitled to all of the rights and privileges. I don't want anybody to take away from me any of my rights. Exactly. Tell me, Councilman, in, in the 60s, where, uh, where were you and where were you, uh, where were you from? Yes. I participated in some of the market. Yes. I was just a teenager back then. Yes. 84 years old now. So yes. things are somewhat different than they were back there. Still, some of the same things are cropping up again. That people want to deprive other citizens of their rights. That's right. Yes. Some people are trying to deprive other citizens of their rights, and then the same kind of thing happened in the 60s. Anybody else got any questions? All right, uh, Mr. Um, Councilman, everyone would like to thank you. AZ Freedom, thank you, United Occupied. And uh, one more question here. Those are some of our vets there online that are unable to be here for health reasons, and they're thanking you for being here. Yes. Our veterans. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, we need to do more for our veterans. Yes, yes. all right. And I'm certainly hoping that the war in Iraq and Afghanistan will cease, that we can use some of those funds to help people in this nation. Yeah. Thank you, all sir. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah.